Okay, so this problem is 6.5.41, and we are asked to perform the indicated operations and simplify. And in this problem, you can see the denominators have some, they, they look very similar, but it, when we compare it, like for instance, these two to this one, they're the same, but they're different by a negative. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. If I were to rewrite this denominator in descending order, that would actually become negative z plus 5. And um, <clears throat> this is very similar to these other two denominators. In fact, if we factor out a negative, it will actually be the same. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to factor out a negative 1, and this is going to become then z minus 5. And that gives us a common denominator for all of these. Okay. Um, but now it's a common denominator as long as I move this negative 1. So I want to explain this to you. Uh, let me use a different piece of paper here. Um, so when we're looking at fractions, if I had, for instance, this fraction, negative 5 thirds, that's actually equivalent to negative 5 thirds with the negative in the bottom. So it doesn't matter where you write your negative when you have a fraction. If it's in the numerator or the denominator, it's the same thing. Okay. So effectively what I'm going to do in this problem, because we have this negative down there and I don't want it down there, I'm actually going to move it up to the numerator. Okay, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to move it up here. And notice that we already have a negative sign up here. So when we have two negatives in a row, it actually becomes a positive. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that so you can see what we have. So we actually have... 9 times the z plus 7 over z minus 5. This now has become a plus sign, and that's what's changed by moving that negative up. And that's a 2. <laughs> um, and then now this denominator is just z minus 5. So that was the advantage of doing that step right there. Okay. So we have common denominators now. We can just bring our numerators together and simplify. So this is 9 times the z plus 7 and 9 times 2z minus 9 and 6z minus 5. So now all of that is written over this common denominator of z minus 5. So let's go ahead and distribute the 9s here. So this is 9z plus 63 and 18z minus 81 and then we have our 6z minus 5. Okay and um, let's go ahead and collect like terms. Um, so our 9z, our 18z, and our 6z so that's looking like 33z to me and then our 63 and this negative 81 and negative 5 so we're going to have <clears throat> um, 63 minus 86 here so we've got a negative 23 and this is over z minus 5 and if the numerator factored, then we would factor it, but it doesn't. So we'll just leave it there, and this would actually be our answer in this problem.